Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Kingwin Mach 1 600 watt modular power supply. What's included is a user's manual, four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, a power cable, modular leads, and the power supply. This power supply is available in two wattages, 520 and 600. I'm reviewing the 600 watt model, which is enough power for most medium to high-end computer systems. Now, how is this wattage determined? Well, to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And they're essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 200 watts and the 12 volt is 384 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. Also, some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. The plus 3.3 volt is 24 amps and the plus 5 volt is 30 amps. Now, unlike some power supplies that only have one plus 12 volt rail, this model has two and they are both 20 amps. This ATX 12 volt power supply meets all the new environmental standards, today's latest testing procedures and protection. Now there are a couple of important factors to note when purchasing a power supply and that's its efficiency and does it have active PFC. It's recommended to get a power supply that's about 80% efficient or better under typical load. This model has an efficiency that exceeds 70% under full load. As for APFC or active power factor correction, this is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Well, unfortunately, this product does not have active PFC. Let's have a closer look at this power supply. Here's the power cable connection, voltage switch, and the power switch. It has a highly reflective silver paint finish and it comes with two blue LED fans, a 120 millimeter and an 80 millimeter. These fans are temperature controlled and will have no problem keeping the inside of the power supply cool. Thankfully the 120 millimeter is recessed so there shouldn't be a problem fitting it into any case. This unit also comes with two windows, one on each side. This power supply has lots of leads and most are modular except for the main 20, 24 pin, 4 pin and 8 pin which are sleeved. The modular cables which are also sleeved will cut down on the cable mess inside the case and improve airflow. These modular leads are simple to connect and disconnect Therefore, you only need to attach the leads required for your particular hardware setup. The Molex leads also have easy grip connectors, which make disconnecting and connecting hardware simple. Finally, have a listen to the fans. This power supply does perform fairly well. It's modular and looks fantastic, but it doesn't have enough serial ATA leads. It's only 70% efficient under full load, and it does not have active PFC. Overall, though, this is a great product. 
Again, my name is Rodney Warren. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support 3 gm Dot com. Until next time, take care. Screws for mounting the power supply in the case and power cable, cable, and disconnect. Therefore, you do therefore, better for there. It's only seventy percent parent parental parental percent.